This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. I have the latest on a terrible crash involving seven teenagers right here in Carson City. Howdy ho, it's off to work we go. Crashes, cone zones and more coming up in your Channel 2 traffic report. Hey folks, if you get a call from a Detective Phillips, hang up. Washoe County deputies are warning you about a new scam caller. And prescribed burns are scheduled over the next few weeks. We will show you when and where crews will be working. These stories top your news right now, 6.30 on your Friday, November 10th. Good morning. I'm Andy Gavar. I'm John Potter. A little pre-Veterans Day salute That's to you. Right. Psyched about the parade uh, tomorrow to honor our vets. Anyway, it is Friday. Yeah, and this morning, a uh, new honor flight group is going to D.C., so a lot going on for our vets. All right, for our news, new this morning, roads were closed in Carson after a serious crash there overnight. It was serious. We're starting with team coverage on that. Kai Sisson is in the traffic center. He has our cone zones and more, but first we're going to send it over to Jamie Hayes at the scene of that crash. Good morning. Good morning, Andy. Yeah, the road, King Canyon Road, opened at around 4 o'clock this morning. When we arrived, crews were just cleaning up and getting uh, the road cleared up for it to be open. Now, all we know so far is that around 1130 last night, Carson City Sheriff's Office say that seven teenagers around high school age, about 14, 18 years old, crashed at Kings Canyon Road in Carson City. The injuries range from moderate to severe. Two were transported to the hospital by care flight and five others were transported by ambulance. The crash is under investigation, so it's unclear how they crashed or if drugs or alcohol were involved. And as I mentioned, Kings Canyon Road is back open, but there is still some glass on the road. They did have somebody out there when we drove up earlier in the morning and they were sweeping up the road. But then when we were coming back down the road uh, after he had left, there was still a few glass. So please be careful driving through this morning. Back to you guys. All right, yeah, that glass could be dangerous. Thank you for that, Jamie. All right, Kai, the traffic guy. What you got for us this morning, my friend? Hey there, happy Friday, everybody. Okay, so our roads right now actually look really good, all things considering. This is uh, 395 southbound at par. Check it out, it's pretty clear right now, and I'm only seeing yellow lines, you know, some slowdowns once you approach, you know, uh, uh, North McCarran there down to Audi through the bowl. But other than that, 395 southbound looks fantastic. Here's just south of the bowl, I-580 at Moana, looking great there too. How about a closer look uh, over where Jamie is in Carson City? Here's where the Kings Canyon Road is. It is open now, but where that glass is, about Longview Way and Kings Canyon Road, right about there is where she says there's still some glass, so look out for that if you can, if you're heading over there. Okay, also happening right now, we got a high wind alert through Washoe Valley. It is windy today. Jeff will have our forecast. We saw high winds yesterday, continues today. And if you're uh, over by Wells Avenue, that uh, construction there, underground piping work, Lane closures through February 2nd. It's getting pretty nasty. Expect delays over there if you're heading uh, Wells Avenue in between Sutro and 7th Street. Well, that's your traffic. I'll be back soon with another update. Follow me at Kai the Traffic Guy. Thanks, guys. Back to you. You know, we were talking a couple minutes ago about things to do on the weekend. Didn't mention skiing and that resort open, Mount Rose. Mount Rose, I think Mammoth opened as yeah. well, so. How's it looking there, Jeff, for skiers? Yeah, hey John and Andy, good Hi. morning. Uh, well, it's gonna be a pretty good day today. A little windy uh, still up there today. One more day to go with those uh, pesky winds, and then we do start to uh, clear things out just in time for the weekend. Here's sunset from yesterday. Yeah, we had some winds out there yesterday, and we're gonna see them again today. Not quite as strong as they've been, as our storm system is kind of winding down and starting to move out of the area. But again, uh, cloudy skies out there up in the mountains. A few light showers are possible up in the Sierra today with, again, high snow levels. Kind of a carbon copy of yesterday, I think, is on tap for us today. Still some gusty winds, though. 25 to 30 mile hour winds around Reno, down through Lake Tahoe, and in the Carson Valley as well. There's a lake wind advisory up till 4 o'clock this afternoon. So that kind of gives you the time frame right there. 48 degrees as you hit out the door. Northerly winds at 7, so that puts a little chill in the air for sure. Keep the coats uh, handy throughout the day today. Again, those winds definitely had a bite in the air. 36 for uh, South Lake Tahoe there, so some cooler 30s to be found. And again, the winds will be with us today. Then they do finally start to calm down just in time for the weekend. Look at that. By tonight, Monday, Saturday morning, good weather for the parade at 11 o'clock, both here in Reno and Virginia City. Temperatures will be a little cool in the 30s and 40s tomorrow morning. Uh, but today, not bad. Partly cloudy skies out there. A slight chance for a scattered shower and 57 for a high today in Reno. We did 60 uh, degrees yesterday, so just a couple degrees cooler. More on your weather coming.
coming up in just a few minutes. Have a good Friday, guys. Back to you. Hairless cat napping by the fireplace weather. Crime beat a district judge in Clark County put off the execution of a death row inmate that was supposed to be three days ago. The judge ruled against the use of the drug to execute dr uh, Scott Dozier after federal public defenders argued it could prevent observers from seeing if he suffered during the execution. Really? Dozier was sentenced to death after a 2002 first degree murder in Las Vegas. That's there he is. Attorney General Adam Laxos office uh, says they plan to appeal that to the Supreme Court. Also in crime beat, two men are now facing lengthy prison terms for committing crimes against the elderly. Here they are, the two. Attorneys say this one, 49-year-old Michael Mullins, was sentenced Friday to 50 years behind bars for beating and strangling his 68-year-old roommate in July. He was later found in Sparks. He tried to commit suicide by cop, but he was arrested without injury. 33-year-old Dutch Cooper was recently sentenced to 29 years in prison for stealing purses from elderly women while they were gambling. Cooper was arrested after trying to steal a U-Haul in May. His accomplice was picked up in February. And there's more. This man, 39-year-old Alfredo Lomeli Garcia, accused of multiple sexual assaults six years ago. U.S. Marshals found him in Mexico and arrested him and brought him back to the U.S. this week. He's charged with three counts of sexual assault and two counts of attempted sexual assault, along with robbery and burglary. Still on the lowlife parade, there's a scam alert. There's a guy making calls around town impersonating detectives. He wants your information. Deputies say this guy identifies himself as Detective Phillips to people. Then he'll ask for their numbers, information. During one call, this guy actually got angry when somebody refused. It's a good reminder to be wary about giving information over the phone to a stranger. And if you're concerned, the sheriff's office really is trying to call you. There is a number, 328-3001. Turning to fire watch now, fire crews in Lake Tahoe will continue to conduct prescribed burns around the lake over the next several weeks. It means you're going to smell and see smoke. These burns will take place in Kings Beach, Incline Village, Diamond Peak Ski Resort, and several other spots around Tahoe. That means, again, you're going to notice that smoke. Officials say that these burns are important. They reduce that excess vegetation that fuels wildfires. Area firefighters wrapped up uh, their conference in town yesterday. It lets firefighters refresh their skills and learn new ones. Drills yesterday morning included anything from putting out a car fire to going through a building fire, which mimics a house or apartment. Both experienced and rookie firefighters say they found these drills useful. Definitely gives them very valuable experience, um, like I said, to be able to approach live fire because, again, it's in a very controlled manner. Um, so it's, it's extremely valuable. All right, firefighters use propane for the mock fires to keep the air clean. I'm kind of worried too if uh, about fire season. I mean, I just got a email from a viewer who says that the last storm, the Reno airport got 0.00 precipitation. And in all, I, I will ask Jeff if this is true. In all of November, or I'm sorry, October, October. was it 0.00? That's pretty dry month, right? Yeah, a third, a third of an inch, of an okay. Inch. Yeah. Still... All right. The guy was wrong. <laughs> Don't tell him. <laughs> well, I'll look into what you said, sir. How about that? That's right. Nice and polite. All right. Coming up on Channel 2 News uh, this morning.